Hello everyone, I'm Vero and this video is about some really cool Chinese handmade watercolors and I also have a surprise for you, that's not that much of a surprise if you read the title. This video is also a giveaway because the shop that sent me these things offered to give away three sets of pearlescent watercolors to three of you. So three can win and this giveaway is open worldwide. To participate, like the video, comment below and read the description because there will be all the rules listed there that you have to follow to participate and everything will be there. So good luck to, to the three of you that will win! So these are all handmade watercolors and the owner of this shop are just working hard to create handmade products that are good quality and I mean I always will support artisans so it's really cool when people come up with these things and I have two sets of watercolor paint to show you today. One is a set that comes with 24 watercolors plus a portable brush, which I totally prefer over water brushes to be honest, because, because usually the bristles of these brushes are better than the water brushes, so I liked it more. And a set of 10 pearlescent watercolors, which are really cool. So these are handmade watercolors. And they contain oxgall, honey, and they're made with organic natural materials, even the shimmering ones. The color selection is really nice. My personal favorite colors are the Buffet Titanium and Cobalt Turquoise because they, are, they have kind of a very unique look to them and I really like them. There are a lot of earth tones, uh, that means that that's great to create a lot of different skin tones, but they're probably there because Usually hair thones are a little bit more affordable to manufacture, so and the sets anyway as a fair price, so not hate that, even because all the colors are intense, even the hair thones, sometimes certain brands like Windsor and Newton have the most horrible hair thones that are so dull and ugly, but these are really nice, I really like them. Some also granulates, some have different texture and different finishes, so it's really cool. And I'm also sure that they will eventually enlarge their collection of colors with in the future. So the texture of the paints, of the normal colored paints, is really fine and smooth. But the texture of the metallic watercolors, it's kind of difficult to explain. It's kind of fluffy and soft. It's, it's so difficult to explain. I don't know what to explain. You just, you should try it yourself. What I like about the pearlescent watercolors is that they look like pearls, for real, because they have like this duochrome pearlescent and some of them are like some speckles of bigger glitters that make them look very unique. Usually metallic watercolors or like shimmery watercolors, they all have base colors, but the shimmery it's also like always most likely just silver shimmer and it's cute, but these are really cool because there's a lot of more dimension in the colors compared to others that I've seen. So they look really cute, not gonna lie. When they dry, they kind of look like nail polishes, which is really interesting. Uh, I wish I had nail polishes like this, honestly. Anyway, the flow of these paints, it's quite decent, but it's not exceptional. It's nothing exceptional. It's enough for them to blend really well but not enough to flow magnificently in water with the technique of wet and wet. So there's that. And um, But they layer well and they also blend well and mix well, so they're really nice. They honestly just look like watercolors that you buy in shops. They're just really good quality. They just look like professional watercolors. I haven't noticed any weird behavior, the colors don't come off, like everything looks very professional and that's really cool. I'm definitely impressed. Now there's something that I have to say, the water, these watercolors are made on demand which means that they make them when you place the order, so the processing time of your order might take a little longer and also they might they they may they try to dry them uh, as much as possible but during the shipping they might melt again due to the humidity in the atmosphere it's quite normal it happens also with other professional watercolors it definitely happens my watercolors during winter are all melted and there's no way they dry they never dry 
so be careful when you unpack them because the colors might stick to the packaging and it might be a little bit messy but after all this color is really nice so it's fine you can definitely put everything back in the pan by the way the pans they um they come with a magnet behind which is really nice because i store my watercolors all together and i always tape some magnets in the back because that's my system and so it's really nice that i don't have to do it with these ones and they already came with that which is really witty i really like that they say that the packaging might change they're still looking for the perfect one um, the color of the box also might change because they they use whatever they have in them so mine is gold but you might get another color but it doesn't really matter <laughs> so now you see that I'm painting something <laughs> uh, basically I painted this illustration on martini paper I made the drawing onto my iPad and I printed it and I transferred it on the block using carbon paper because this is a block that is, has glued pages which means that all the pages are glued in the sides so that you don't have to stretch the paper because it's already stretched and you can draw directly on these which is cool so but you can use a light pad to transfer the drawing on you just have to use carbon paper that's what I do at least so yeah after transferring the drawing I inked it with uh, acrylic inks I used two colors and I didn't really mix them, I just used them randomly to sort of give some dimension in, the, in, in some places it's more a bit more like turquoise, in other places more purple but I think it was just a waste of time because at the end with all of the colors on top it's not noticeable at all so yeah it might work if you choose two dramatically different colors but if you choose these kind of colors no it won't be notice noticeable at the end so yeah kind of was a waste of time i could have just avoided doing that for this illustration i was very inspired by a christian anderson fairy tale the snow queen it's basically about the fact that sometimes it feels like we have ice in our eyes <laughs> and in our hearts and that prevents us to see the beauty in the world and to feel the love of the people that surround us so we kind of lose ourselves after that and the only way to melt that ice is to find someone that loves you enough to melt all of that shit you know and I always really like this story it's really cool especially there is a Russian animated movie that is so so beautiful and I get to know I got to know this story because of that movie honestly my parents didn't really read me many fairy tales especially Kristen Anderson ones because sometimes they can be a little bit you know raw <laughs> anyway that anime that not anime I don't know what to call it, animated movie was like so cool like the animation the character design the color themes everything was beautiful i mean after all the russian people are among the best artists in this world of course they're good also at anim animating stuff guys that thing is better than disney anyway anyway because of this i wanted to represent the 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 guy the protagonist um it, which is called kai if i'm not mistaken um and the, when it got the, the crystals and the eyes, the mirror, the eyes, whatever that is. And I felt like this shimmery watercolors would have looked cool with this illustration. And I'm not gonna lie, I quite like the result. Um, they look quite cool. But you know what would have looked very good? If I used the salt technique on the shirt. So that it would have looked kind of frozen. You know, because when you put salt on watercolors, salt remove um like the color from the paper and makes everything look really like frozen snowflakes like so that would look really cool if i had done that but basically when i find the salt in the kitchen everything was already dried because it's summer and it's hot unfortunately so yeah anyway i guess it's fine just a note for my future self just plan your illustrations better but you know i'm italian so i'm just 
genetically inclined to be disorganized <laughs> okay no, just let me stop talking before I offend some Italians anyway um remember that this is a giveaway and you can win the pearlescent watercolors three of you can win them so good luck to everyone remember to read the rules in the description and yeah good luck and bye bye guys see you next time i'll leave you to the rest of the video <laughs> if there is any i don't know anyway bye guys thank you so much for watching and for the support thank you for the new subscribers i see you like it really means the world when people appreciate what i do because i don't really appreciate it so when someone else appreciate it i always think oh there must be something that's good if someone else liked this anyway i'm I'm blabbering too much now. I'm, I'm just gonna stop talking. It's so difficult to end videos. <laughs> bye, guys. Bye bye.